So there was a space race back in the 60s, back in the 50s, to get to the moon. And on the radio today, I'm pretty sure I heard something that there was a very, very small space race back to the moon again sooner or later. But one thing I haven't heard, other than using rockets, is possibly using a ladder. A ladder to the moon. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Maple Ruski, for another Ruski Brewski review. And today, the beer I have for you is by the Henderson Brewing Company out in Toronto, Ontario. And this is their Henderson's Ladder to the Moon Dark Saison, aged in bourbon barrels with rosemary and lemon verbena. Coming in at 8% alcohol by volume, um, an unlisted IBUs, which aren't on the bottle, but it is not on the website. I can't find it on the website, which is a just a bit of a bomber. But on untapped is coming in at 42 IBUs, but I've never had something like this. I've never had two parts of this beer. I've never had a dark saison. And I've never had a dark saison aged in bourbon barrels. Actually, three parts. And I've never had a saison aged in bourbon barrels. So that's three new things. Four if you count the rosemary and lemon verbena. This is all new to me. And it's a dark, dark glass with nice gold little starry night in the background kind of thing. With a nice moon with a huge ladder going to the moon. I'm kind of nervous about this, to be honest. I wasn't I'm not really feeling a dark beer right now, but I didn't want to do the 11% Henderson's Beast Amber Ale or aged in bourbon barrels. I did not want to do that tonight. I definitely want to share that with somebody else. I could do 11% in a big 650 ml bottle like this on my own, but it's not in my best interest. So let's crack this dark saison. Actually, we're not going to put that there. We're going to throw that into my bucket. I just missed it. I'm going to pour it into this AB and Bev or uh, Budweiser pint glass because this is the glass that I have right now. I am so scared. Oh my god, that is so dark. 8%. We're going to pour just that much in there because... 8% can get dangerous. Yes, I know. 8%. It's nothing like over 10, but it's way more than 5. It's actually 3 more than 5, but still. Looking at it, it's a very, very dark beer. Very, very deep, deep red when you put it up into the light. And a nice off-white, uh, somewhat sandy, light, light brown head on top. Looks pretty good. Let's have a smell. Ooh, that rosemary just comes in at your face. Ooh, a little bit of chocolate. Ooh, wow. Slight lemon, yeah. Not really get that very slight tr tr traditional typical saison smell from it, but definitely smells very, very florally spicy, um, earthy even. I, I don't know what to really expect out of this beer. Uh, Saison's are already a nice, um, flavorful, definitely, uh, um, what's the word? Um, 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 acquired uh, taste, but a dark saison, and not not just a dark, but an aged in bourbon barrels. Oh, jeez, I'm very nervous. Let's have a sip. That's interesting. That's a lot. That's a lot of flavor going on. I mean, the rosemary stands out the most with a nice, le I don't know what lemon, lemon verbena is, what verbena is. 
but you get a nice lemon on the outskirts, rosemary in the face, outskirts lemon, outskirts chocolate, and then even more outskirts is like coffee and a very slight traditional typical saison funkiness. Um, there's a lot going on. It's a lot of beer. And then you get the bourbon in there from the barrels, which is just ever so slight. It's like the outer rim of the flavor profile, if that makes sense, on your tongue and in your taste buds that goes to your brain. And then you get a slight alcohol bite, ever so slightly that sort of mixes and mingles with the big rosemary and all the other flavors around the beer. And this is something that is very hit or very, very miss for people. I'm saying that not because I know this, I'm saying this because this is what I'm experiencing and this is what I can really project. Um, uh, versus me when I first started drinking Saison's, to me now, which is a more of a uh, Saison season veteran. If you can say that, um, or if I can say that, I don't know. I can say that because this is my channel. Um, but wow, that is a lot of flavor and a lot going on. And I'm very confused and I'm very intrigued and I want more. So cheers guys. Let's, let's see what else. Wow. I'm, it's blowing my mind. Rosemary, lemon, chocolate, saison, bourbon. Rosemary, lemon, chocolate, saison, bourbon. That's the order that I'm getting this in. On those, on that sip. And I'm, st it's so weird because a lot of the flavors are very, very conflicting. When you think down to it in like individual parts but the way that it's working, it works, but your brain and your taste buds question it at the same time. I am super confused about this beer, but I, I don't, I'm so confused about this beer if I like it or not. More sips, more answers. No, I'm still on it. Maybe by the end of it, I'll figure it out. But for right now, it's confusing as all hell. But it's really good. It's not super heavy like a stout would be. It's definitely more... It's not heavy heavy it's not light it's not moderate it's like moderate to heavy um in mouthfeel but it doesn't sit super heavy in your stomach um that's that's one thing I, i've realized over 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 the 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 year the few years that i've or at least the year that i've been doing this but the just the years in general that i've been uh, enjoying beer is that there's a difference between mouthfeel and stomach feel and i think that's somewhere that's something breweries and brewers and people leave out is that yeah even though a, a, a drink might be heavy mouthfeel it might sit light in the stomach and some beers that might sit light in your mouth feel heavy when they get down to your stomach into your gut that's something they should um they, they should really uh i guess i guess maybe not i don't know they, they should probably put that in there but at the same time, it does sound a little weird. It's, they say, oh, it's, it's, it's heavy in your gut. Well, who wants to have that? These are just thoughts going through my brain about marketing and about beer and about a bunch of other stuff. I'm still trying to wrap my head around this beer. And I still don't know. And that alcohol bite... That very, very subtle alcohol bite, the bourboniness from it, is I think what throws me off when it mixes with all the other flavors. Because all the other flavors are pretty good. They're working really well. But that bourbon flavor is definitely throwing me off just a touch. But even then, 
it's 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 like bittersweet not in flavor sorry not in flavor it's not bittersweet in flavor but it's bittersweet in uh in liking it because it's really really good the bourbon's executed really really well with the barrels i think they did a really good job with that portion but it also doesn't work with the rest of the beer but in in some way it does if that makes sense i don't know for sure i'm just confused as all hell and i hope that you are too when you're watching this and drinking this and maybe by the end we'll get to some sort of conclusion but who knows let's read the bottle so henderson's ladder to the moon dark saison asian bourbon barrels with rosemary and lemon verbena eight percent alcohol uh, by volume, I want to say 42 IBUs, and there is a description. We're going to read it now. Okay, we can't actually claim to have a ladder by which to visit the watchful moon that hovers over our fair city, but we can claim to have brewed a delicious dark saison and aged it for six months in bourbon barrels, resulting in a warming, herbal, woody delight with a touch of lemon on the nose. Humbly, we hope you'll agree that it's next to the best thing to a ladder to the moon. Very, very clever. I'd love to go to the moon. I'd love to take a ladder to the moon. That might take a while to do, but this is still a pretty solid beer. I'm just so blown away by it. Wow, wow, wow. So this is one of three beers. I only have two of the beers. Um, in this bourbon barrel age series that they did, it's not a t real series per se, but from what I I know, I talked to, I think her name was Michelle, I think this was about three, four weeks ago, um, I went down to Henderson's, and she was telling me about their, the, the bourbon, air, uh, bourbon barrel aged beers that they had, they had the, uh, the Henderson's Beast, which is the Henderson's Best Bought Asian Bourbon Barrels, essentially, um, that was their first beer that they threw in the barrels. After that, I'm pretty sure they did this one, the uh, Ladder to the Moon, and then they did a uh, Porter, which they then again threw into the same barrels. So Henderson's Beast, most bourbony. This one, second bourbony. Um, porter, third bourbony. So. I think that's the order. I know Henderson's Be uh, Beast was the first, um, and then I think this was the second, and the Porter was the third. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Anybody from Henderson's, anybody that knows more than I do, correct me if I'm wrong. But yes, this is the second uh, beer in those barrels. So, very, very cool. Um, oh, I didn't even notice. It's the background of, this, of, of Toronto. Because, well, the other buildings are kind of uh, plain, but you got, you got the CN Tower in there. I didn't even notice that. You got the CN Tower right there. Thumb, see it? See it? Right there? Right there? Tallest one? Of course it's the tallest one. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Wow, that's a lot of beer. And wow, I'm confused. And wow, wow, wow. So much wow. A lot, of, a lot, a lot of wow. There are some woody notes in there for sure. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do with this beer what to say about it even more than i already have we gotta wrap this up soon because I, i'm just confused i'm gonna sip on the rest there's a lot going on here and it's gonna be that way for the rest of this beer i know it but it's quite enjoyable at the same time i'm really happy i picked this beer up we're gonna finally move over to untapped and Ladder to the Moon has been given a 3.8 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of 105 ratings. I think it's the darkness of the saison that might be throwing it off, or just giving it such a confusing note. Because you have a saison, which is already funky and already very spicy in a sense, um, and then you're adding, you're, you're making it dark which means notes of dark chocolate and coffee and then bourbon barrels which releases more flavor and more complex flavors into the beer already it's a treat it's definitely a treat and with that said we gotta get right to ratings cheers everyone I don't know where to put this beer I really don't know 
I think this is one of the hardest beers I've had to review just on basis of how complex the flavors are. It's just for that, just for that reason, because it's so complex and just so out there, you know, it lands a solid 9 out of 10. Just because of that wow factor that it gives myself, it's tremendous. And that carries a lot of the, lot of weight. Um, the flavors are really, really good because you can identify them individually. Yet you can also identify them together. And it flows really well. As rough as it is, it flows well. And that's what I think really just wows me about it. The mouthfeel is also confusing. It's crisp, but it's smooth and it's velvety. And it's, I don't, I'm so confused about this beer. Nine out of 10 is really where I want to land this beer because I don't hate it. I don't love it. But at the same time, I do both. I hate it and love it at the same time, which is something that is amazing to me. Craft beer is amazing when you can dream up and make something like this. Where it takes the drinker on a journey of confusion and delight and bliss. It's, I think this is the most diverse flavored beer I've had in quite some time. And I'm don't know if I'll have anything like it. I'm pretty sure I actually will have something uh, that does this to me again. But this has definitely been one hell of a journey. Wow. Henderson. What a great brew. With that said, presentation, description, ABVs, there, perfect. Ingredients are not there. No IBUs. Uh, brewed on date or bottled on date Not there as well, but this is only available in the brewery if it is still available at the time of recording slash uploading I doubt it is but this has definitely been one hell of a treat Presentation also website there there wasn't I couldn't find it on the website anymore or in general So that's okay other than that nice website guys really nice website but wow, yeah, presentation, you know, it looks really cool. Def definitely missing some information. Gets a solid uh, 8 out of 10 for me. But wow, this has been one hell of a beer. I'm very confused. I'm very delighted. And that's, that's pretty much a wrap. With all that said, guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all the information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Maple Rushki, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. As for my question of the day, my question of the day to you is, because we haven't done one of these in a while, is what is the most intricate, confusing, most like random flavors, flavored beers you've had? or beer you've had let me know down in the comment box below because i want to try them after having this the such most complex flavors in a beer i want to know more of them because i like this journey as much as i hate this journey i love this journey and i want to learn more so let me know what's the most complex craziest flavors and flavor mingles matches all that stuff in a beer let me know what that beer is down in the comment box below with all that said, guys, that's going to do it for me, Maple Ruski, and like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers.